Joining us now from San Francisco is Frank Wu. He's a professor at the University of California Hastings College of Law and author of the book, Yellow, Race in America Beyond Black and White. Frank, thanks for joining us. Great to be here talking about a tragic subject. Well, you know, there are relatively few hate crimes against Asians reported in the United States compared to other groups. Does that make them harder to track or to fight? Sometimes people don't believe when Asian Americans report a crime. They don't believe it because they say, well, you Asians, you're all doing so well. What problems could you possibly have? Or the hatred, the go back to where you came from, explains why they don't take it seriously. They say, you have it better here than you would in your homeland, even if you're a third generation, fourth or fifth generation Californian. So there's a sense of denial. The statistics show that hate crimes against Asian Americans are on the rise. They also show that Asian American kids are the most bullied in school, with all those racial slurs, those ugly words, the common cruelties of the playground, being challenged to kung fu matches on a daily basis. These stories are so important to share, because when you face it, you think you're by yourself, or it must be your own fault. And when we share it, we realize it's a common theme. It's part of what growing up Asian American means. The United States, as you know, has a history of discriminatory laws against Asians. That includes the Chinese Exclusion Act and the Japanese internment camps. How much do the legacies of these programs still matter today? They absolutely matter. They're invoked as precedent not to be avoided, but to be followed. So they're very much part of the discussion. And people don't realize, even Asian Americans themselves, the shameful past, this history, we want to get past it, and I understand that desire, but Asian Americans throughout U.S. history face the most brutal violence, not just name-calling, but arson, lynching, outright murder, being driven out of uh, predominantly Chinese uh, towns where the entire town was cleared out. The whites would form a mob and drive out every last Chinaman, as the term was used then. And as we saw in the story there, Frank, you know, a lot of people, uh, group Chinese, Japanese, Koreans, all together, they've seen equal discrimination. Do you think Asians are more or less likely to report hate crimes to authorities? Culture, do you think there's a, a, a sense that they shouldn't get involved or just, you know, let it just fall by the wayside? That's right. There's this uh, saying, well, you all look alike. So the most famous hate crime against an Asian American was the brutal beating death with a baseball bat of a 27-year-old Chinese American named Vincent Chen in Detroit, Michigan, my own hometown. His killers thought he was Japanese, not Chinese, and they thought he was a foreigner, not an American, and they blamed him for the success of imported cars. That inspired Asian Americans to do something no one had ever seen before or since, organize, stand up, speak out, and defend themselves. Part of the prejudice is Asian Americans are weak, puny, not likely to fight back, and we have to show that that's not true. We have about uh, 30 seconds left, Frank. Anything else you'd like to add? Where do you see this going? Are you optimistic that uh, we'll see less of this? I believe in the American dream. And you know, what's great is to see that hate crimes are being tracked, they're being taken seriously. Asian Americans finally have found their voice. They're willing to stand up and say, this is wrong. When this happens on the playground to my child, I'm going to go in and complain to the principal and the teacher, we're going to put a stop to that. We're not going to blame Asian Americans and say, well, you can just go back to where you came from. For me, that's Detroit. And I have to say, We've come a long way, but there is so much more that we have yet to do. And to recognize the problem, that's the first step. All right, Frank, we appreciate uh, all you have to offer. Thanks for joining us from San Francisco.